All right, this is the uh, virtual lecture uh, introduction for October 25th, 2011. And what uh, you're going to do for this lecture is you're going to go in and uh, uh, look at the rotational dynamics one, chapter eight, integrity uh, video. And then after you've viewed that information, you will then pull up the integrity, uh, this, this integrity, uh, this, well, th th you're, you're looking at this particular uh, video right now. And so this is the problem set that you will be going through. Um, so this is rotation about a fixed axis. Starting uh, a propeller-driven airplane is one problem, and rotation of a cylinder from a falling block is another problem. If we take a look at the first problem, if an engine of an airplane is specified to have a torque of 65 newton meters, and this engine drives a 2.1 meter long propeller that weighs 400 newtons, how long will it take the propeller to reach 210 revolutions per minute. Okay, so this problem involves torque, uh, it involves uh, angular uh, moment of inertia, and uh, calculating angular acceleration. Uh, you know the angular velocity from zero to this final 210, which you have to convert to radians per second. And then finally, um, calculate the time, how long will it take, the time it takes, because you know the angular acceleration and you know the final angular speed, you can find the time it takes. So you will need to uh, look in as well, look in chapter 7 under definitions that relate to angular acceleration and angular velocity. Okay. The second problem involves, uh, again, rotation, but here we have a cylinder. This cylinder is going to rotate about an axis through its uh, center uh, as a result of this falling block, which is attached to a string, and as the string unwraps, I know I didn't show very much of the string here, but imagine the string is wrapped around the cylinder, and that unwraps and rotates the cylinder as the mass falls to the floor. So we're told a two kilogram block three quarters of a kilogram cylinder, five centimeters in diameter. That information allows us to calculate the moment of inertia of the cylinder. And then we can use Newton's law, F equals MA, to express the force and mass and acceleration relationship for the falling mass. And then we could use torque equals moment of inertia times angular acceleration, which is Newton's rotational uh, motion law for the cylinder. And again, we want to know how long will it take the block to reach the floor if it's initially 1.2 meters above the floor. So you'll submit those two problems into Ferris Connect into that assignment that is titled Virtual Lecture for October 25th, 2011.